All right, guys, the last type of menu item I want to talk to you guys about is a radio menu item. Now, a radio menu item is a little bit different than a checkbox because if you guys ever used um, radio buttons with websites before, you're going to know exactly how these work. They're pretty much a group of checkboxes, but you can only have one selected at a time. Now, a good example of this is if you want to select the level or the difficulty for a game, you would either choose easy, medium, or hard. You can't choose easy and hard at the same time, so that would be one case scenario where um, a radio menu item would be great. So I'll actually make that little example. So difficulty, radio menu items. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new menu called a difficulty menu and equals to new menu difficulty. And I got huh, a little piece of hair in my mouth. I think it's for my sweater. I actually bought a sweater from Kohl's. This was like a couple months ago. And I put it on and it smelled like fish. And I was in my mom's car because we went out to lunch. And I go, does this sweater smell like fish? And she looked at me weird, and then she smelled it, and she goes, wow, actually, yeah, it does. So, you know, I didn't really care. Smell like fish, no big deal. All right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making three different menu items, easy, medium, and hard. And in order to group them together so the user can only select one, we need to make something called a toggle group. So we're going to be sticking all of them inside the toggle group and that will give us the functionality where the user can only select one menu item at a time. So I'll call it difficulty toggle, set this equal to new toggle group. You gotta say it slow like that or else your program will break. Alright, so now we just need the radio menu items. I'll just say easy equals radio menu item easy and this one will be medium hard and hard alright so we have three different menu items and now the next thing we got to do is just add them to the group so for e -he -he -z, that's how you gotta sing it gonna set the toggle group to difficulty toggle, difficulty toggle. Oh my god, my mind is boggled. This is getting out of hand. This tutorial is getting crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta calm it down, clam it down. All right. Let's tighten this up a bit. All right. So, got everything taken care of. The last thing we need to do is just add all of these to the menu. So, difficulty menu get items add all easy medium and hard you think that they would just have it where you can just add this toggle group to the menu but no and actually let me space this out so you guys can see what's going on a little bit easier so again we're going to create three different items they're all part of the same group but we have to add them to the menu manually and of course we actually need to add this to the menu bar so let's see what's up. All right, so difficulty, check easy, and then I'm gonna select, you know what, I wanna go to medium. Well, what that does is it actually unchecks easy and selects medium, and same thing, no matter what you check. Basically, it's just like this, but you can only have one selected at a time. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is radio menu items. Thank you for watching. Um, yes, now roll the credits.